Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, can we run other Git commands without first initializing the repository? The answer is no. First, we have to initialize the repository using a Git command known as git init. After you initialize a particular repository, okay, with git, then only you can run different git commands, okay, inside that repository. So what I will do here is for practical demonstration to prove that we cannot run other git commands without first initializing the repository to prove that I'll just type git here and here you will get git bash option because already in my machine git software is installed. If say, git software is not installed in your machine, you will not get this git bash app. Make sure that git software is already installed in your machine and type git here, you will get the git bash. Open that git bash, it is a command line tool of git, right? And uh, here, what you have to do first is without initializing the git repository, okay? Without initializing the repository with git. How to initialize generally a repository with git? Git init, I have to type. I'm press enter. Once I press enter, right? That particular repository, the current local repository of uh, whatever the location you see users Arunium, right? This is a location. This particular Arunium folder first need to be initialized with git. Then only we can run other git commands. First, without initializing, I'm not going to initialize first. Without initializing, if I run any other commands, for example, for sample, git, other git command is git status, I press enter, you see, patel, not a git repository is saying, okay? It should be a git repository, but it is not a git repository. So to make this work, what we have to do is, let's go to this location, guys. See users Arunium. Let's go to the location first. C drive, users, Arunium. So under this, dot git should be there. Is there anywhere dot git file is there? You see dot git is g is here, dot gradle is there, dot groovy is there, but dot git is not there. That will only come when you say git init here. Okay, the moment I press enter here after git init command, this particular repository will, will be initialized with git. This particular Arunium repository will be initialized with git. This time, let's see. Same location, press enter once and see. You see dot git came here, dot git came here. The hidden dot git folder has come means that particular repository got initialized with git. Can I now run the other git, git commands like git status, etc.? Yes, we can run now. Git status, press enter, you see it's working now. Earlier it was not working, right? Fatal not a git repository was coming. Now when I have run this command again, after initializing this particular repository with git, okay, git init, then git status is working, okay? So untracked files are there, all the other things are coming. That this proves that the command is working, okay? Earlier the command was not working and uh, giving some fatal error. But now after initializing that particular repository with git, then we were able to run other git commands in that particular repository. So hope guys you got the answer for this question. The answer for this question is simply straightforwardly no. Can we run any other git commands without initializing a particular repository with git? The answer is no. First we have to initialize the repository with git. Then only we can run other git commands in that repository. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.